In the previous video, we have seen how to collect the data which is appended with the query string with the help of the path variable. In that case, the data, the username was appended with the query string. The, na the username was Rod Johnson and we collect this uh, user data and displayed it on the web browser. For this, we have designed one handler uh, within the controller and within the curly braces after uh, after this handler we have used uh, or we have told the spring framework that uh, we are going to get the data here and framework comes to know that the user is a variable because we have declared the variable user of type string here and this mapping from here to here is done because we have used one annotation path variable that which instruct the framework to map this variable user from this to this that is from the query string get the variable value from the query string and put this value into the variable user then we have put or taken the help of this uh, model map and uh, specify one key for this data and we have put this data with the key user data and then finally we have designed the page and uh, display the user data which we got as a part of the query string now in this video we are going to see okay, how to collect the user data which is submitted by the user in the form of the form for this we are going to use the another annotation that is the request param annotation now for this we have to first design the form so this was the project which we are designing that is the hello world xml uh, now for this we will design one new controller and the name of the controller will be user controller within the same package controller and we annotate this controller with the controller annotation and we have to also import this annotation here now in this annotation we will first provide a simple handler method uh, that is used to display the register form to the user so we are going to write the handler here so this will be our handler i import this request mapping here and again this map from util package and request method also we need to import now this is our method now we have provided the handler to this like slash user slash register whenever in the url we found uh, slash user slash register then this handler method will get executed and this will only support the get request and then uh, we are not going to do any uh, tedious task in this handler method we will only redirect the user or we will only return the name of the view that is the register.jsp to the user and this register.jsp will contain one jsp page which will display a simple form to the user so in the views folder we will first create one new folder and the name of the folder is user now in this user folder we will create one file that is register.jsp which will display the registration form to the user now new jsp file which will display register dot jsp to the user now in this page we have to design this user registration form now i make some changes in this register dot jsp and i paste form here this is a very simple form uh, the method will be post and the action attribute contains under user details so we have to design one more handler uh, to handle the data which is posted uh, by this particular form so we will provide one more 
handler with the mapping user slash details now first we are we are going to get the first name of the user and the name of the text field will be f name then the last name of the user the name of the text field will be l name then we are going to get the email of the user the name of the text field will be email then we are going to get the mobile number of the user the name of the text field will be mobile then we will be having one submit button okay first we will see the output we copy this handle so that we can provide this handler within the browser and first we will verify whether our form is displayed correctly or not so we run our project do finish restart server now we get this page we paste our handler mapping here and press enter so we got the desired form which we have designed in the register dot gsp page now whenever this form or the values in the form are entered by the user and this form get submitted we have to handle the data in the controller part for this we have to design the controller with the handler mapping user details so we copy this handler and we come to user controller and we here mention the annotation request mapping and the value is equal to this paste user details because this particular method will handle the user data and the request method will be post here as the form data will be get posted onto the server now public then we will use string and then details method and we copy this map object here in the previous tutorial uh, we have used here the model map and here we are using the map so there are the two option available uh, but there are three options available in the first tutorial in the first two tutorial I have used model map that does the same thing as uh, map is doing here in the next video i will use the third which is one more option uh, to pass the model data onto the gsp page so here i am using this map so the data which is submitted by the user by this particular form i have to get that data into the controller for that i will use the annotation that is request param annotation now i know the name of the field text field f name in which user will enter its first name so i copy this name and i paste this name here like this first i import this annotation that is request param annotation what is going on here return return user string map object map object now i will specify more request params because the number of text fields or the data which is passed by the user will be there uh, with the value f name l name e name and mobile number so i have to collect the values uh, of all these text fields so i will use here four request params now this will be second request param then third request param and then the fourth request param and all the data is of type string so i mention here like a string this f name f name and here a string this is f name this is l name 
and this is email this is email and this is mobile and this is mobile a string l name l name comma then a string email so i will provide here the string email and then this mobile so i provide the string mobile here and after that i provide here the map object to pass the data to the gsp page now here the class will be closed now what i am planning to do is whenever the user user got registered and enters the data provide the first name provide the last name provide the email provide the mobile number and press this button this request is forwarded to this handler because we have mentioned the in the action part the url of this controller or the handler of uh, this handler so this handler get executed now what we are planning to do is design one more page uh, that is um, details uh, dot gsp in which we will uh, display the all the details which are entered by the user in this form so for that first we have to put all the user data that is submitted by the user in this map or in this model so i will put one string that is f name and this map is having one method that is put and the key will be f name and the value will be f name similarly i will put the remaining values here this n is capital here capital n i will put the remaining values here one is for a name one is for mobile and one is for email this is a name this is a name now email this is email and this is email then mobile number uh, mobile and then again mobile number then what we are going to return we will return the logical view name here the logical view name was the user register because within the user folder uh, we have designed one page register like this now in this folder we will design one more page and the name of the page will be details so i specify here user and the details now we save this page now we have saved this page now we have to design uh, one page that is the gsp page that is the details.gsp which will display the user details the details of the user which are submitted uh, to us in this form so we will create one more page under this folder that is a gsp file details dot gsp now this is the page now in this page i will display the details which was entered by the user since within this handler i have put all the data which is entered by the user in this model object i have used here the map object as the model object this is the map object which i have used at the as the model object so i have placed all the data which is submitted by the user in this model object so i am retrieving this data which is there in the model object in this details.gsp page so whenever this page is submitted to the server by pressing this submit button this data is handed over to the user details so this particular request is handled by this handler 
now this handler with the help of this request param get all the data which is submitted by the user and place that data into the model object and forward the logical view name details now this details page get displayed and this details page will pick all the data from the model object now we will run this first refresh this page and here the first name rod then johnson email is rod at gmail.com and mobile number and there is a mobile number and we press submit now see this details dot gsp is called and whatever the data which is submitted by the user getting displayed within this particular page but this design is not a very smart design since as you can see in this particular handler method if there are four text field then we have to use this request param four times if our registration form contains 20 fields then it will be a big problem because we have to use this request param 20 times there is one more smart solution for this by creating the model objects so in the next video tutorial I will demonstrate the same ap application or I will recreate this same application using the model object so that we can get rid of so many requests per hour. But if you are going to handle the user data uh, which is having only one or two fields like to verify the username and pass uh, password then you can go for this particular architecture but if the input fields are very very big in number like 10 20 and 30 then this uh, type of architecture is not a smart architecture then we have to move on to the model objects so in the next tutorial we will uh, discuss about the model object and in this tutorial we have designed one registration form when we submit this registration form the user details are getting displayed which are submitted by the users